Hello beautiful people and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I go from this to this as I share with you the affordable everyday minimal makeup look only using drugstore products. Now that means you can get all of these products in this video from Target, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, you name it. You can get it for all under $100. Whew, that was a mouthful. This has taken me way too long to get this video to you. I know you guys have been asking for it. I just really wanted to make sure I was in love with all of these products so that when I share it with you, you can be in love with it too. That's why it took me so long. But here we are. We finally made it. If you are on a budget and you want to look good and feel good, but you don't want to break the bank, this video is especially for you. It is also for you if you just really want a nice, simple, minimalistic makeup look to have in your back pocket that will take you 10 minutes or less. Everyday, easy makeup, and it's affordable. Say less. I'm so excited to share this with you, so let's go ahead and get started. I talk a lot about... Oh. I talk a lot in general. I really talk a lot about having a good skincare base on this channel. And if you've watched any of my other videos, that is something that I always will let you know about before you start your makeup, how important it is to take care of your skin. Because taking care of your skin, not only will your makeup look that much more flawless, but it will also make sure that makeup stays on longer and you have healthy skin. Unfortunately, I just didn't have enough time to put together drugstore skincare products that I could really stand behind. Not yet, but we're, we're trying some things out and I will report back to you. For now, I've stuck with my same routine for my skincare base. If you need to see a video of what I'm using for my skincare base, what's on my face currently, I will link something for you. In the meantime, as long as you have a moisturizer and eye cream and sun protection, you are all good to go when it comes to a good skincare base. That is already on my face now and now we can start right into the makeup. Let's start with foundation. This foundation is special because I feel like it is a really good dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is a really good alternative. This is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. I'm in the color 5 to 6 Medium Tan. This is not a really full coverage foundation, which is fine, but it does something. I don't know what happened to the nozzle, to be quite honest with you. I've had this for a while. It just kind of doesn't nozzle. I don't know. So we're kind of just like putting it on the back of the hand. This stuff a little goes a long way. Not only are all the products that you will see in this video from drugstore, but all the brushes are as well. I worked on that too. Most of the brushes that I have are from e.l.f. or Real Technique. So this brush here is the Real Technique brush and it is their stipple brush. But I'm going to go ahead and apply onto the brush the foundation. But look at how easy and beautiful that this foundation is blending out. This is definitely a little bit more coverage than the Hollywood Flawless Filter because it's actually a foundation. Now let's do the brows. We have spacey brows. Let me bring you in closer so you can see what's going on. This is what we're working with right now. Sparse, but there. I've got two eyebrow products that I'm going to use. One of them is from NYX or NYX, however you want to pronounce it. This is their Fill and Fluff pencil. And then I also have the e.l.f. wow brow. This one is, you'll see. I'm going to fluff my eyebrows up with the e.l.f. wow brow and I'm in the color brunette. This reminds me of two different high-end products. One is from Milk Cosmetics and then also Benefit. They also have a brow situation like this. This is a great dupe. I had a lot of recommendations of people using this and saying it was amazing and I'm glad you guys told me about it because I immediately went out and purchased it and I loved it. Now we're gonna go in with the NYX Fill and Fluff pencil. We're gonna take the little fluffer side that they give you. We're just gonna fluff up these brows just a little bit more because they're already kind of fluffed up with that makeup that we just used but this is just gonna make them a little softer and then I'm gonna go in with the pencil we're gonna really define these brows I like that this pencil is on an angle and it has a really good light formula you still have to be a little careful when using it because it's very easy to apply a lot I go with a super light hand and kind of draw the shape that I want these brows to take and we're gonna also interchange and use the little fluffer brush thing, push them up, and blend that makeup into the hair so that it looks as natural as it can. I am satisfied. Now we're going to move on to concealer. I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. You guys have probably seen this everywhere. I know you have because I did and I was convinced to purchase it and when I did I was like, okay, this is worth the hype. It's really good. It's a great drugstore concealer. I'm going to go ahead and pop this underneath my eye. This is in the color 150. I'm going to go ahead and apply up this way. It's kind of hard to draw my normal line with this and I kind of like using the sponge to dab like this. This is going to help take away my little dark circles under my eye but also make sure that I have a little bit of a lifted look in my face. Playing with the contours of my natural face shape. I'm going to go ahead and put it right here, down under here, here, nose, 
and then up here, that's where the natural light kind of hits and it's really pretty. I don't know what this is a dupe of. I've been trying to figure it out for the last couple months of what I can say this being the dupe for, but I think it's just one of a kind. This is a real technique, what do they call this? This is the detail brush, real technique detail brush. And I used to, I guess, use it for lining my lips with lipstick, which I didn't just get a lip liner, what in the world? We're gonna take this brush, pray that it doesn't transfer with the red lipstick. I've cleaned it, but it's stained. We're gonna take that concealer that we put all over and we're gonna go in to clean up these brows. So far, so good. We're, we're not transferring. Just cleaning up these brows so I have a nice sharp looking brow. Doing this technique really helps the makeup look look so pro. This is like my favorite thing to do to finish out a brow look. Use the e.l.f. small stipple brush. This is a stipple brush. I love it and it works so incredibly well. Just gonna blend that out. I love how small this stipple brush is because you can get underneath the brows too so you don't need to use a separate brush. Just to make this a little bit more flawless, I'm gonna take a beauty blender and I'm gonna blend this all together as well. Again, just to give it more of a flawless look to kind of make sure all of the makeup is nicely blended together. When you're dealing with drugstore makeup, you have to really focus on more blending. Just make sure you have the proper tools to blend, which is a beauty blender or a stipple brush. Those two things are gonna be your best friend when it comes to using drugstore makeup so that you don't look cakey or the makeup doesn't look separated, but you want it to look flawless and blended. Next, we're gonna go in with bronzer and I'm super excited for this. This is from NYX or NYX and it's called the Wonder Stick. This is a dual ended face shaping stick. I have been obsessed with cream bronzers lately. It's just been a personal thing. I really love them and I tried this out. I was really happy. I am in the color medium. We're gonna go ahead and do a small contour line here and here to find this area here. I love that this little tip can do a nose contour really nice. I'm gonna take my trusty beauty blender and we're gonna blend this out. I love how easily this product blends to the skin. It's really beautiful, it feels very high end. I want to say this is a good dupe for the Milk Makeup bronzer that I use and that is my favorite. We're gonna blend out that nose a little bit more but we're gonna save that for the stipple because that will help blend a lot more precisely. It gives me such a warm, glow and I love that about this product. We're gonna work on that nose a little bit more to blend that out so there's no harsh lines. We don't want that. Now I'm gonna go into the eyes. I'm gonna say blush for last because blush is like my favorite thing ever. I'm using the Makeup Revolution palette. This is my favorite palette of all time. Moment of silence for the missing top. It's gone. It's broken. It's gone. It's never coming back and RIP to that color. Don't know what happened to that. I'm gonna use this tapered stipple brush from e.l.f. and we're gonna use this color right here, this light color. We're gonna go in to the creases of my eyes. We're just gonna blend, blend, blend till we can't blend no more. We're gonna take that detailed brush from Real Techniques and we're gonna take that same color and I'm gonna go down underneath my lash line right here, blend that out with my finger. This will add balance to the eye makeup look. Also make the eyes appear bigger. I love doing this technique for my eyes personally. It's just something that I love. We got a nice little eye makeup look going. It's super simple. We're still not done with the eye makeup look, but I am going into highlighters. I'm gonna use the highlighter as a finishing touch for this eyeshadow look. I actually have this e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand. It is so reminiscent of the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wands that she has. This is the blush in Magic Hour. It looked more like a highlighter to me than a blush. It's not as potent as I'd like my blush to be. I'm using this as a highlighter instead of a blush. Why Watch what this does. This is so beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and start this as we would a normal highlighter up here on my brow bone. It's a warm tone highlighter for me, I know. I like that though. We're gonna also put this on top of the eye to finish out the makeup look because I just love the shimmer that this gives. And we're gonna blend this out with a beauty blender go all the way around. This product is very light, so you have to use a little bit more. It's not quite as pigmented as the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wands, but that's okay, because you can build this, and that's actually really beautiful too. Blend again to really make sure there's no fine lines. Now we're gonna go in with my lash curler. Gonna curl these lashes so that my mascara doesn't have to work so hard. Another huge favorite of mine, this mascara is from L'Oreal. It's L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black. One of my all-time favorites. I don't think I will 
ever say that a higher end mascara is better than this one. This is just the vibe. I've used this in all of my videos. I love it so much because it's such a great formula. I love the brush. I love how tiny the brush is. For my lashes in particularly because I don't have super long lashes, it works for me. I haven't found something as nice for an everyday mascara. This is such a great everyday mascara. All right, we're going down below. I love a good dramatic bottom lash. Now we're gonna do my favorite part, which is blush. I love me some good blush. Milani has some of the best blushes. This is their Petal Primavera Baked Powder Blush. I love this line. Their blush is super pigmented. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. blush brush to apply this. It is such a beautiful color. Very pigmented, but buildable. Love the soft color with this one. One. It's kind of like mauve-ish, I'd like to say. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, so it gives you that extra um, this really reminds me of the MAC blush that I'm obsessed with, the Like Me Love Me blush. It's a mineralized blush that they have. This one's a little less matte, but I do like the shimmer that this gives. Plays with the highlighter really well that we put on. You could stop right here. I feel super confident with this look as my everyday minimalistic makeup look. For all my girls that really like to wear lipstick or one option for lips, I have something for you. So again, you can stop this video right here and we're good. You can pop on a chapstick and you are set to go. This is a really good lipstick to have if you want a good affordable lip. This is the NYX Smooth Whip Matte Lip Cream. I love this stuff. They have so many different shades. I think this shade is a little bit dark right now for me, but we are going into fall and winter, so tis the season. It's just such a beautiful matte lip color. I love the smell. It smells so good. It smells like, like a pastry. I'm gonna take my finger and just kind of dab that in. It's still giving more natural, but a little bit of an umph, exaggerating the natural color of my lip. This is it, your affordable, everyday minimal makeup look. I am so excited with how this turns out every single time. I feel super confident with it. It takes me less than 10 minutes to do. I will say that one thing that I am missing right now that I cannot seem to find, I don't know where it went, but it is the NYX setting spray. The NYX setting spray is a really good dupe for the Urban Decay setting spray that I like to use. I typically don't have to use a setting spray because my makeup will stay on with my good skincare base. I find that that's tried and true. If I don't have a good skincare base applied before I do my makeup, I definitely need to use a setting spray because the makeup will run off. That is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I'm really excited to have been able to bring this to you finally. I know it took a while. I'm excited to do more videos like this. Probably gonna do another glam look using all drugstore products. Let me know if you try out this look and how you like it. I'm very excited to know what what you feel about it in the comments. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos here. Thank you so, so much for watching again and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.